You see that right there? HE, high efficiency. Um, we've been dealing with this for years. Like, I don't know, however many years we've had this uh, Maytag wash machine. And I finally got tired of my wife always complaining about the water level. So here's the workaround, people. I spliced in a piece of uh, quarter inch tubing, four feet of it into the pressure switch that's inside here. It's super easy to do. I, you gotta cut both ends though because this, this hose will not fit the nib on the pressure switch. So you just use these little connectors. I got them at a gardening store. This uh, rubbery hose that comes with the washing machine will fit um, all of this and the nib inside. So I just got a four foot um, section of that because the pressure switch is not adjustable. Um, so what you gotta do is increase the amount of air, um, the volume between the hole in the tub. Sorry, I'm going sideways on you guys. Um, the, the hole in the tub where it, it starts to push the air column up uh, to push the pressure switch. So water comes up and increases the, increases the uh, pressure inside the tube and it tells it that it has enough water in it, which is never enough. Because you know, this right here is the freaking devil, okay? So anyway, you can see here, now every time I've washed a load since, I've actually had water covering the clothes. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you just let it run one cycle, um, and you know you do that too, you can pop it open and drop it back down, it spits a little more water. Every time uh, you let it run by itself, not maybe not every time, but I've actually had clothes wash, dry, and, uh, not wash and dry, sorry, wash and go through the um, rinse cycle, and I've found pieces of dry clothes. That's how little water it puts in there. So here you go, work around some tubing, four feet, maybe minus two inches that I cut off of, of the end. Um, I was gonna keep trimming it until it got to the right place, but that just seemed to be about the right spot, four inches. And I ran the hose out, sorry, ran the hose out on either side of this cover, um, which is one screw to get off. And this is this three screws to get off. It's super easy. It'll take you 10 minutes at the most since you know now what to do. There you go. Work around for stupidity.